or will you stay longer? Welcome back YouTube to my walkthrough. Cool Ace here and um I'm very excited. I found the entrance to this um interesting meeting with two sorcerers. It is actually the store and if you just walk over it you can see the the knock X. That's why I was searching uh, the last night. Now it happens that it appears pretty good and easy to see. Okay. Whatever. Let's see what's happening. <laughs> he even brought some wine. I'd lost hope that you'd appear. We couldn't wait for you to show. happens what he thinks that will happen <laughs> what about me don't I get any you just got exactly what you deserve <laughs> hey this isn't funny <clears throat> come back Chris, yes. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> well, well. Ladies did quite a number on you. You know about this? No. They didn't tell me till this morning. A shame, really, because it looks like you had a roaring good time. Dandelion. All right, all right. Sorry, don't often see you like this. Couldn't resist. So, how do you feel? A bit numb, I bet. <laughs> Tris and Yen, where are they? Got something to say to them. Oh, Geralt. How little you know about women. Did you really think you could have them both? You have a great deal to learn. Glad to give you some advice if you want. Think I'll pass. I'm going to the port. We should already be on our way to Skellige. Well, take care of yourself, friend. And you're not sore about my teasing, are you? No, I'm not. So long, Dandelion. Uh, what are all my clothes? Those poor wretches who fled Velen. Okay. I just have to. 
take it on. Done. Good. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, very funny quest. Now what's left? Two twenty-four quests. That's all preparations. So oh, there we are. Help protect Siri from the wild hunt and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Hmm. Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. Hmm. Take it the Emperor forgot to tell you about this. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away.
that settles the question of his Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the ML. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Gelban and Dillion of the White Fleet? <laughs> Talus, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillion. Yet she spurned him. <clears throat> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillion a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillion's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. The Sunstone's in Skelliger? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Amir's mages, of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. Plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show his Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. I'm off. Good luck. Talk to him after. Uh, what would be the point? Surely not now. Don't count your father out just 
Okay, we have a couple of new quests now. It's pretty near. I can do this first. The rocks never crumble. The favor lady branded. Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs. They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's Ermian? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. Now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermian. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. Shoot it, bear, I think, never crumble. Grand those swords. I prefer to trust the axe. Ah! <laughs> Okay, so where is this old druid? Respect, Witcher. The favor Lady Brown did for our son sure did bear a name. Darn. There's the entrance. Oh, yeah. There he is. I'll not kneel before an oncrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to aid the black ones? I'd sooner aid the rights of bleeding Moorhog than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Yars call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. Would you be king by Nilfgaard's grace? That your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! Ah! Onward! I'll tell the fucker I'm just gonna... Oh! 
Still fighting. Not your lucky day. <gasps> Shit.
Okay, this was pretty much a massacre. Huh. You should not stay here. Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. Blood of Crocs' blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Kaer Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. An agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. Mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? Listen, Ermian. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Ulberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe Elves interesting. But there's a Skald, Avent. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlong. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlong? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather, either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Whole gaggle this time. Ugh. Gods protect us. <laughs> Okay.
slow now. Whoa. Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, aye, they mentioned something. Nay, I've more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Givorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. What's this whale about? He's to appear when specters descend from the heavens into the waves. The serpent wakes the sea's wrath, and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Never mind. Let's watch for Gevorg together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago, like all the others. Avon. What? I. Uh, just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? Writing an adventure novel, gathering material for it. Mean to write up the coming of the White Fleet? Try, my dear. Mayhaps you could use my translation of the Song of Gilban and Dillion. Gladly, gladly. So where's this cavern? Uh, got a sail east from Kertrolda. Caverns in a cove, only accessible from the sea. So long, and good luck with the White Whale. <laughs> It'll show today. I'm sure of it. Girl is a little asshole. Well, at least I tried to say something. Somewhere. Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalok's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalok mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? 
Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the Sunstone's on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I will explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? Let me check the quests. Hmm. I think we should continue here. I can try to take this boat. Yeah, that's probably the best, best option. Actually, I can use this one and see if I can fast travel with it. Hopefully I can sail there without any troubles. I thought we are near the end with the final quest, but it looks like that there are a lot of preparation to be done. I was wondering there were a lot of weapons in level 45 or something like this, and I thought this is after um, after Endgame and New Game Plus or something. But it looks like we might reach that level in the normal gameplay.
Oh, something is coming. Looks like an arbor there with the boat. Yep. Very good. Just wonderful. I say, look at this. some new eyes, like Vilgefortz did. I remember the moment I killed him. Cultivation wasn't complete. They hadn't grown in fully yet. Looked disgusting, but... I take it your mention of that deviant is purely coincidental. Of course. Also heard of this rich blind dwarf from Mahakam. Had them put two sizable rubies in his eye sockets. Couldn't see a damn thing. But word is, it looked pretty tasteful. Hmm. Here's a little side track. Oh, Spectre.
So how do we get up the... The stairs? I'll fix them right away. Ready. Let's go. Couldn't help notice the tension between you and Yennefer and Triss. It's very hard on Ciri, I think. There are times I doubt you three realize how it looks. Triss plays the big sister to Ciri, but eagerly awaits a chance to hop in bed with you. You and Yennefer play the parents. What now? It appears I must do everything for you. See the sentry who seems to be waiting for payment. I'm fresh out of change. Oh, in blood, not coin. The sentry is Fearlan of the Elven legend. Do you literally read nothing? How?
Yennefer must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No. Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. Is foreplay that important to you? You'll get to work with the Emperor. Not excited? No. I, I mean, yes, of course I am. Thus far, the Lodge has oft banked on weak rulers. It's been one of our biggest mistakes. Hmm. So you're impressed Amir keeps his mages on a short leash? Yennefer's wise to keep you out of politics. I'm afraid you'd not realize which way the wind was blowing if you pissed straight into it. <laughs> you ought to talk to Yennefer. Painfully clear there's unfinished business there. Yennefer's always walked her own path. I'm actually touched she decided to take an interest in matters of the Lodge this time. You don't trust her. So once the hunt's defeated, leave. Find asylum elsewhere. I hear Redania's offering. I'd sooner stick my head in a Zoogle's spiky orifice. Thanks, but I've other plans. This deal with Amir. It's sorceress business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position? Beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. Don't you think it's time you stopped interfering in Ciri's life? No. But you do know we're not a pack of wolves you can just drive away from her with your sword. Sure you are. And yes, I can, if the need arises. Wait. There's something here. Feel it? No. My medallion. A ridiculous bauble. Don't make me laugh. Tuning into elven magic is just slightly more difficult than sniffing out a malodorous fiend. Watch this. Arahan Luma! Uh -huh. That means the sunstone is here. Don't stand there looking stupid. Try to shift the mirrors. Oh, a puzzle. Let me save that. I've done this. Uh, I haven't done this in a recent events. Better to save that. So, moving the mirrors. I think I can reach this one easy. Yep. Who's that? <laughs> oh, I can't move. What the fuck is it? I couldn't really move. I don't know what it was, but um, I was somehow restricted what I have to do. I couldn't really parry and I couldn't... well, I, I could attack. Very strange. Okay, because I found so many adjustments here possible. So I guess that's okay now. There's no beam of light here. Is 
So let's adjust this one. another one Same here, some kind of movement restrictions. Darn. Can't climb there. These controls are pretty clumsy. Oh no. I'm here. <laughs> it's <laughs> way easier. Okay. At last. This little Hand thing. over and let's get out of here. Not so fast. We have a matter to discuss. Let me guess. You gotta fly. You're about to tell me why you need the sunstone so much more than we do. Then you'll change into an owl and whoosh. No idea where you got such a ridiculous notion. Ciri's safety is most important to me now. But I wish to talk to you about the future. My future. I wouldn't worry. Emperor's got plans for you, I'm sure. Stop playing with Jester and listen to me carefully. Once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri is safe, Yennefer's meteoric rise at the Imperial Court will come to an abrupt end. Which is wonderful from my perspective. I'm not interested in reviving the Lodge if I'm not to have the deciding vote. You're telling me this because... If I know even one bit, I expect that once we've defeated the Wild Hunt, you aim to slip out the back door with Ciri. To disappear into the wilds, correct? All very romantic. But perhaps instead of destroying the girl's life, you could take Yennefer with you, and go. Triss might object. Ah, yes. So give Yennefer some friendly advice, would you? She'll listen to you.
Any other words of wisdom, or can we go? You may go. I know you things to do. Come over here. I think he's not affected. Wait a second, is there an entry for ghost? No. We have no entries. What about these? Strange bombs. This, for example. That actually worked. Or is it just the other go?
What now, you piece of filth? Loot. Darn, another two of them. sword did we get? Trash, trash, trash. Trash. Oh, slightly better. But only slightly. Hmm. This one is better, but it has no slots.
Okay. We serve her who is virgin mother and crone. Oops. Uh, let's see what next quest do we have to do? It's thirty one and probably that. Okay guys, um, for the next rest I'll take a short break and see you in the next video.